Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal. This is my partner, Nikki Snacks, and we are excited today. I'm sorry, I, I know that's not the normal no, no, one. No, 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 but that's good. That's good. I had that's it. good. That's good I, energy. I, I know. All right. And, and I, I got you. I got you. And we're here to give you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Week four, coming at you. Right meow. So I'm pumped up. You know why? Because I went 3-0 last week. And if you haven't noticed, I'm dressed 3-0. Because on this show, when you go 3-0, you dress 3-0. So Facts. I look as good as I could for how I I gotta love. tell you. I got to tell you. For a fat, disgusting squad, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You look really nice. For as good as someone can look, being you look me, really nice. This is pretty good. Yeah, you know, hell of a week, six Very and three nice on the year, and you know what? Looking good. They, you know, I, I I do want to say this too. They weren't really close. It was blowouts. Dude, and you, you know what? Very well. yeah, My backup that picks great... that we talked about before the show, yep. I would have went 5-0. Oh. Well, see, that that's the other thing I want to talk about, the backup picks. I have to start sticking with my gut, and you know that. Yeah, dude, it's hard. It's hard. I sat there. I sat there, and that couch right there, the pregame before Bagels and Locks, I said, Denver is going to shut the Jets out. Did I not say that? Yeah. Did the Jets score a point? No. No. And, of course, I didn't take the f- happens. Broncos. It's okay. We question ourselves. But we get them out of the way early. You went 0-3. You know. No, I went 1-2. You went 1-2 this week? I went 1-2. You went 1-2. All right. I hit the under on the, the Saints and Patriots. Yeah, whatever. So he had a shit yeah, week. I, I agree. Yeah. He'll bounce back. It's not a big deal. It's what I do. Uh, do I start us off? I guess I will. You always do. We'll go right into it. Week one. Pick one. I keep doing that. <laughs> it's like the third week in a row. I've said week one instead of pick one. Pick one. I got the Cowboys and the Panthers. It's actually the Panthers at the Cowboys. Mine is four and a half. I'm taking the Cowboys. It's simple. Uh, look, if you watched the game last week, the Cowboys, they're, they're, they're a pretty well-oiled machine uh, on offense. Their offense is hard to stop. You want to ask me as, an unbi- like, as a biased opinion? Yeah. They're really good. Yeah. yeah. And the defense is clicking. And the Panthers, you know, they had a couple of good games in the season. They beat the Saints. Everyone thought like this, you know. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Here's what I'm doing. You see what I've been doing here? This is a lasso. I'm a cowboy. I'm going to be... The Cowboys are going to ride in to AT&T, AT&T, AT&T Stadium, right? And they're going to lasso up the Panthers. Right. Lasso them up. String them up. And uh, cut their throats. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be a bloodbath, people. It's going to be a bloodbath. No C-Mac. All Dak. Minus four and a half. The Cowboys. Yeah, I mean, it's a good pick. We only say it's a good pick. Yeah, I don't. I don't want. Is C Mac playing? I don't believe he is. No, he's not. Yep, he was rolled out. No C Mac all deck. So what I'm gonna do? I, every time I pick this f-ing team, they never cover for me ever. You know that, <laughs> literally every single time. And they're on the road, which makes me even more angry. But they're off. They they're not off to a good start. And the Vikings are on a, an emotional high. I don't think the Vikings are any good whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Cleveland minus two and a half on the road. I know, I know, I know. Road team favorite. Is the, the odds are not good. But they have the running game. They got the defense that can combat a, a quarterback like Kirk Cousins. And I think they swallow him up enough, which his mother should have done. Excuse me. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? I think the, the, the Browns on the road two and a half. Is a very, very good bet, and that's why I'm taking them. Because they need to win. They need to keep traction in the AFC, and that team is very good. The Browns are very good. Top to bottom, they're very good. The Vikings, to me, are not. I think they can get to Kirk. I think they uh, – Dalvin Cook is banged up. Is he really going to have an effect? You got Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt. You got OBJ back, who's a cancer to any locker room he's in. You got all these weapons around Baker Mayfield with a, a very good offensive line and a very good defensive line. We're taking the Browns, minus two and a half. I got no props. Sorry. No, it's interesting. I, I Listen, I, I can't hate against it. I think the Browns are a pretty good team, so we'll see. I think I think we can agree they're better than the Vikings. I would hope so, but you never know. The Vikings are that weird team that just get hot. They are, yeah, so. I know. This, this, that's why that game is so they weird. They already burned it's you so, once. Yeah, they did. So yep. that's a tough one. Yep. All right, before my second pick, I would like to uh, just uh, let you guys know about a little something that came along. Uh, this I, I came across it. 
this uh, week. It's a monster mob. It's an NFT. It's on OpenSea. I will post a link below. Real quick, I just want to tell you, um, I got involved because if you can't get enough picks like me, you love betting, you love gambling, what you do is you buy a monster mob, you get access to the Discord, and then when you're in the Discord, there's a professional handicapper, and you get his picks every week. He went 4-2 and two last week. Uh, I didn't get in on any of those because I just got in now, but it seems like a cool opportunity there. Very cheap right now. You can get one for like $10. Uh, it's basically $60 with gas if you know anything about Ethereum. But it's very cheap. Normally, handicappers are going to go for like five to eight hundred dollars for the season. You're getting in now for like under a hundred dollars, so it's a great, great deal. deal. It's a great I'll deal. drop all the links below. Ike's going to have a picture of the little creature up there, little mom, monster mob guy. They're cute and uh, has the name Mob in it, so I had to get involved. Bang! Uh, check it out, Monster Mob. I'll have a link below. My second pick: Cardinals at Rams plus four. I'm taking the Cardinals. Oh, I love this. Pick. Taking the love cards. I love, love division it. games. Love it. I love division games because there's usually a lot of action. They're usually pretty tight. You see them, you know, these, these play out uh, kind of towards the end of the game. You know, it could be a blow up, but then the team comes back. And regardless of the record, too. And these are two well, very good teams. These are two very good teams. And two explosive offenses. Close game incoming. Get a, a wee woo, wee woo. Close game incoming. Close game incoming. A flashing. field goal game. Yeah, exactly. A field goal game. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, if anything, the Rams win this by three, but we cover, so we're good. Um, listen, we'll, we'll have to. Kyler's going to have to come out and ball, and I think he will. So I don't have anything else for that. It's just a simple Cardinals plus four. I really. Um, it's simple. It's simple. That's, that's it. all. That's really all you need that's to it. know. That's it. And I will say right now, this man is sharp as fuck. Sorry, I'm, I'm just telling you. You, know, you, you picks, you fit, everything. Everything is going right through three weeks. Everything is going animal's way. You hear this? Yeah, well, I told you I give credit where it's due. But we're not done yet. We got a long way to go, and you know that. We do, we do. You, we got a long way to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the realm. We're, I don't like taking unders, even though my only win last week wasn't under. We're going to go over. Pittsburgh, Green Bay. So... Green Bay's defense is about as good as the cheese that they have in Wisconsin. It's Swiss. It's terrible. It's miserable. The Steelers' offense is disgusting. It's putrid. It's grotesque. Everything about it, there's nothing good that you want to take from that offense. But, 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 I think they could score 20 to 24 points. And that's all I need for the over 45 and a half because I think Aaron Rodgers is on a mission. You know that too. Aaron Rodgers is on a mission. He's going to score at will. Every single time he's on that field, that miserable Pittsburgh defense that has not shown up whatsoever, they're going to score and score and score and score and score. I see this game 31-24 Packers. That's how I see it, which means the over goes off by 10 points. Over 45 and a half. I don't trust either defense I trust the Packers' offensive score, and I trust the Steelers, that miserable, stupid, f***ing, rotten, piece of s***, asshole, Ben Roethlisberger, to score at least 20 points, and they get over 45 and a half. Bink. I mean, I think your best bet is just Aaron Rodgers going nuts and covering it by himself, but yeah. No, I, I disagree. I think the Steelers, he's a p- the Steelers offense. I beat that. Aaron Rodgers when he was 15 and 1. Right, anyway, go ahead. Right. I'm not going to do it. Oof. I almost sneezed. I held it in. You see that? I did. I thought you were I thought you were like having an aneurysm No, I was about something. to sneeze, but I held it in. All right. Sure. All right, before uh Whoa, oh. wait, wait, wait. Uh, Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Animal's breathing has been very improved today. Oh yeah, I'm I'm good now. Because he's in the suit. That's it. Yeah. That's all it takes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so now it's time for the underdog play of the day. Let's take it to the studio. Uh snacks and animal. Let's hear what you got. All right, we're here for the underdog play of the day. I will be giving you my pick 'em, and it is. Uh, this card's messy. Adam Thielen, five and a half receptions. I'm taking the over. He has hit this three out of three weeks in a row, so therefore, this is the week he won't. <laughs> five and a half receptions. Adam Thielen, we're taking the over. I, 86 and a half yards for Stephon Diggs. Go over. 
So if you combine both of those, there'll be a three X that will be three times your money. So if you bet $10, you will win 30. You can sign up at underdogfantasy.com or download the app at Underdog Fantasy and use promo code BDGE. Thanks. Back to the studio. All right. Thanks, guys. That was great. Those are some good picks. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I think, uh, I don't think we've hit any yet. Uh, no, as, like, no, I uh, think we'll like, go for 12. As the unit, like some of them have may have hit one and one, but like never uh, the actual 3X. So this, you really need to bet like sixty dollars this week. This week is the week. Yeah, you got to bet like sixty this week if you want to catch up. And but. you know what? Anybody that tells you to don't chase money, chase your money. Chase money because you're chase bound to money. hit eventually. Yep. Just double down until you can't anymore. Did you hear that sound? Nope. I did. Sounded like it was something coming from over there. Did you hear it again? No, I got it. I got it. Oh it's, yeah, it's, no, it's in that, it's in that, that corner. corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that means it's time for the big. Whoa! Yeah, you, know, you don't need to sweep them off every week. You could leave some sometimes, you know? All right. I'm going to start us off on the big locks. 3-0 and this year, by the way, at big locks. I this will say yes. This is unheard yeah. of, by the way, because I never big locks are normally my worst picks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, buckle up. Here we go. We're heading to Chicago, the Windy City. Lions at Bears, plus three. We're taking the Lions. Animal. The Lions are notoriously a bad team. Well, guess what, guys? It's a new year, and they're pretty good, kind of. They're, com- they're competitive. They're competitive. And the Bears, they have a QB issue right now. Andy Dolan, he's either going to play like half hurt or Justin Fields is going to play, and he's just not there yet. He's not ready. I don't think he... Um, I think he needs a little more time. I agree. I think he needs a little more time, and I think the Detroit Lions defense will eat him alive. He'll get some rushing yards, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It won't win them the game, okay? They're not going to win this game. The Bears probably will lose this. Uh, I think the Lions win this outright, but we're so going to take I. the plus three and uh, get the free money there. This is a big lock. Dan Campbell has the team fucking ready, guys. Like, Dan Campbell is... is Everyone made fun of them all offseason, but this team's playing for them hard. They should have beat the Ravens last week. Yep. So they got they got screwed. They got screwed by a, a delay game. Like this is think. one of my actual games. Like I don't have any funny props or anything. I legitimately think this is the best bet on the board all week. Lions plus three. I am a sharp. Don't fade animal. It's simple. That's all the things I got. That's all of them. <laughs> Big lock, Lions plus three. You know three. what? You know what? You sprinkle know what? on the money line. Really, a little sprinkle. It, it, don't, don't sprinkle. Sprinkle. I, I'm on sprinkle on the money line. I, I am so with you 110% on that bet. Should I be. think the Lions beat the shit out of the Bears. I do too. Beat the shit out of them. I think someone's, I think what? Jared's going to go off. <laughs> oh, I get it. Jared. Go. Yeah. Go off. Yeah, but is Swift going to make any, like, like silky Swift moves? He'll or? get six receptions and 48 yeah. yards. Oh. Well, Anyway, regardless, that is a great bet, and I'm all in on you with that. We don't even know who the Bears quarterback is, and they're still favored. That's a sin. Crazy. You're getting a phenomenal well, line it's really right a pick there. them because the love home that. team gets the yes, three points. Exactly. You're looking that's, at this as a pick them, but we're getting animal, a plus three. Animal, animal, I love that pick, and I'm not even just saying that. And I'm going back to the Sharp. realm. I'm going back to the realm. I don't know why I keep doing this. I usually start slow, and this is where my mistakes happen because I take overs and not, and not spreads. But I don't give a f- what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, who does Las Vegas play for? Las Vegas? Who do the Raiders play for? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas is, uh, you know, it's a high-end it's a, it's a industry. City. Yeah. yeah, city. Yeah. Casinos. Los Angeles is a high-end industry, right? Yes. So everything high on Los Angeles and Las Vegas, you would think is high, right? So the over is 51 and a half. Okay. Like, where are you going with this? Everything's high. Everything's oh, yeah, high. Yeah. Everything's high. 51 and a half. Don't, don't take I don't give a shit. I'm going over. I don't, I, you know what? I don't give a shit. Because the Raiders, the Ra- Listen. The Raiders are a, they're sneakily a good team. But their defense is still very suspect. Their secondary is not good. Their defensive line is ferocious. But I believe in Justin Herbert getting out of the pocket and finding Keenan Allen and Mike Williams down the field for plays and everything like that. Derek Carr, on the other hand, too, the same exact way. I don't trust I don't trust the Chargers' defense to hold them back or score at all. Monday night games, primetime games have always gone over through the first three weeks of the season, mind you. 
now at week four. So I'm sure it'll they'll score 17 points in total. But we are going over 51 and a half. I, every time the Raiders are in a game, does it not seem just it's just ridiculous? It's just ridiculous. I mean, whether it's an overtime or it's like a like a one minute thirty seconds left, and they just throw a bomb, and it's it's a tie game. Every single time the Raiders are in a game, it goes over in prime time. So I am going over fifty one and a half. My big lock. I love both offenses. I love Derek Carr. I know you love Derek Carr. I I don't like Justin Herbert. I think he's kind of a pussy. But he's got weapons and everything like that. So we're going to go over 51 and a half. Raiders, Chargers, Monday Night Football, over 51 and a half. And, and to think about this, the game's playing in L.A. You know how many more Raiders fans are going to be there than oh, Chargers fans? So many fans? more, yeah. It's going to be insane. The Chargers never have home field advantage. Never. Yeah. But see, I, 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 think, uh, I think that fuels the Chargers, and that's going to make them score. I have to say the uh, AFC West sleeper division, one of the best uh, divisions in the NFL right now. Uh, second best division, yeah. Yeah, it's a top three division. The NFC West is the best division. They're, they're the second best. Yeah, sure. We could well, say. Well, actually, you know what? No, I wouldn't even say that. I would say the AFC West is. Because the Chiefs are one and two, and we all know. know how good the Chiefs are. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know. I'm with you. I'm, I'm with sharp. You. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm sharp. Ah, I wouldn't say you're sharp. All right, so I think uh, that's the show, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please comment your uh, big locks. Uh, below. Oh yeah, sh the parlay these for some amount. Oh, f um, I think mom was that's fine. the show. Five sixty two. Five sixty six. Please uh, comment your big locks down below. Thanks for watching. Bagels and more. Bagels and more. Yeah.